morning and welcome to S Shami for this week session of Q&A. The question I have selected today is actually quite complex. It's coming from John in London. Hi Arno, I would like to impress my friends and family for Christmas. What would you suggest for pairings? Well John, that's a very good and very complex question because you didn't give me any pointers as to what you call impress and you didn't give me any idea on the menu you are preparing for Christmas. So let's say you're going to go for something quite traditional, i.e. oysters for an aperitif, maybe foie gras for the entrée, then turkey, then cheese and dessert. To me, there are many, many different ways of approaching that, but we only have time for two. Either you go for well-known labels, well-known wines. You can't really go wrong, but it's going to come at a price, and those labels might impress your guests. And then we're going to see how we can go for cheaper or different alternatives to impress your family. On the first part, if you choose labels, let's say for oysters you're going to make it easy and you are probably going to go for a champagne. Maybe something like Boulanger Renard there not their first cuvee, maybe their special cuvee, and you're going to see that it's going to work. And you're going to impress with the names either Boulanger or Ruinard. Second part is going to be with foie gras. Tradition requires you are going to use something a bit sweeter, like a Sauterne, maybe a Montbasiac. I'm not saying that's my favorite pairing, I'm just saying with those names, you can't really go wrong for your guests. Then you've got turkey. And with turkey, you can actually go for both red or white. I'm a white wine kind of guy, so I'm going to go for white. And on that occasion, I would probably go for Corton Charlemagne to stay in Burgundy. Maybe something a bit older, like 2008-2009, so you can still find it. And that's going to work very well because it's quite powerful and your turkey is roasted, so it's going to be a good pairing. Now, for cheese, Hmm. Shall we go for red? Shall we go for whites? Personally, I would go for whites, but if you're serving a Roquefort, don't make the mistake of serving a white wine. Maybe only go back to the wine you were using on the foie gras with Sauterne and Roquefort and Sauterne actually are close to a perfect pairing. Still, if you want to go for a standard wine, try and find a beautiful Merceau with a bit of age, so that's going to pair beautifully and it will have the power to withstand the power of your cheese selection if you choose to have this real selection. Now, for dessert, you're going to come back to Champagne and maybe go for a Dom Pérignon 2005, so you have plenty of power and uh, aromatic density, and you're going to impress. Again, I'm not saying that's the solution, I'm just saying it's a solution going for labels. Now, I'm going to give you another set of ideas following the same menu. So remember, we're starting with oysters. And what I'm going to ask you to do is to go to a tea shop and to buy a very good green tea. You won't use high temperatures to infuse it. You're just going to use cold, pure water. And oysters and green tea actually work beautifully together. Not a wine, I know, but that's going to impress your guests. So you're looking at a pairing the, hmm, saltiness of the oysters, this seafront smell with the same kind of smell you're going to find in green tea. So that's a very interesting pairing. Then you're going to move to foie gras. Again, I'm not a fan of sweet, full-bodied wines with foie gras because you're basically mixing something fatty, foie gras, with something sugary. And, you know, it's only the second dish, you've got plenty to go. I'm pretty sure by the end of the foie gras, your mouth won't feel anything else. So, I'm going to tell you to go for shabby, of course, but if you ask me, it's probably the point. And maybe find a Chablis Grand Cru Grenouille 07 from Louis Michel or maybe 05 from La Chablisienne. And you'll see that a white with foie gras actually works beautifully. If you'd rather go for a red, try and find an amazing Cahors. Uh, from the southwest, and it's going to work beautifully too. For the turkey, I would probably choose something like a Sancerre, with a bit of body. But, again, as you ask me, 
and I'm getting them as the Chablis guy. For sure, as a Chablis Premier Cru, all vines to get a bit more body, 2012 for a vintage to get something with a bit more presence. Because you want to counterbalance the saltiness you've got on the turkey crust, you want to counterbalance that crunch. So to me that would be a good idea. Then we're going to move towards cheeses. Cheeses is either white or red and I've told you about the Roquefort pairing with Sauterne which again is amazing but maybe just for a change go for a red and find this Bourgogne Coulange Lamineuse from Magali Bernard. It's called L'Intemporel. It's just a beautiful thing. It's got body, it's not full power on tannins so it's gonna basically be amazing with, uh, with cheeses. And then for dessert, well, desserts are where you are going to stop serving Chablis. And maybe if you find an amazing coffee, that's worth going just for coffee. Still, if you want to go for something with a bit of alcohol inside, uh, you can always find a champagne. And be careful, because it is said that champagne can go with everything. Mm, it's not exactly my idea. So maybe you want to find a champagne like Moutard, that's the six cépages, six grapes variety. You know in Champagne you use three mainly, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir and Pinot Meunier. And in this Champagne they use another three, Pinot Meunier, Pinot Blanc and Arban. Well I actually carry the 2008 and it's rich, it's grapey, it's got those nutty uh, candied fruits aromas. So for a rich because usually for Christmas you go for a rich dessert. Uh, if you go for a Christmas pudding, that's going to be very close to a perfect match. If you go for a chocolate cake or bûche, as we call it in France, it's also going to work. I really hope this helps. If you've got your menu set, send it over and I will sort that out for you. If you've got questions about menus, pairings, whatever is linked to wine and wine business, do send them over by next week. You can find all those videos on YouTube, on Twitter and on Facebook. Do follow if you want to. I hope you're going to have a wonderful week. Keep on tasting. Bye-bye.